Yes, you are marketing an enterprise, right? You're marketing a music enterprise. But how are you going to do that? And, and, and how are you going to have people to market to? A body, you know, a, you know, a population to that, that gives a damn about you? Or will exert the effort that it takes to like be your customer? Because people don't have to do anything. People don't 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 have to lift a finger. They they can they get inundated and interrupted all the time. So you're going to have to ask people to, in some form or fashion, grant you permission to talk to them on a regular basis. And the way that you'll be uh, doing that is to be um, supplying them <coughs> compelling content. And what compelling content is, I mean, that the, the looseness of that definition is incredible. Like. Really, what you guys need to need to understand is that the parameters of what you're allowed to talk about or be are virtually invisible. What matters is is um, who you prove yourself to be, what you prove yourself to be, and only you know how to connect. You know, point A with point Z. You know, like um, Delia, you're talking about doing stuff about like um, recording engineers on your blog. Uh, or, or is it recording engineers or recordings? I, 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 I wasn't, I can't remember. I'm still not sure. Okay. I found like a point band, but I kind of want to like Okay, so what's going to be, what's going to be easy for you to really be personable talking about? You know, I'm not putting you on the spot. I'm asking you to just think that inside, inside your own head. Like, where will you, oh, Sarah, join our circle. Sorry. Please join our circle. It's a circle. It's, it's you know what circles are, are like hugs. They're like hugs, and we're we're putting our we're embracing one another. Really, you know, really when it comes down to it, doesn't it seem like it's important to embrace one another? I just want to be on our. I just want to look at the camera and say that. Uh, all right, so look, let me take roll since Sarah's here because I wasn't trying not to take roll until you got here. No, okay. All right. No, Adams. All things considered, he's here. Wes, we're here. Joshua Campbell. Hey, damn it. I knew that was your name. I was, I was going to name, name, name. I can't talk about that. Right. Yeah. Ted's doing something else right now. Hey, Steve. It's Sorry. almost packed. That's exactly what I'm waiting for. Join our circle. <laughs> Please join our circle. Come together. Yes. Let us, let us all be together in this space, in, this, in the world of music. Oh, fabulous. And marketing. So Ted's almost here, but he's not really. Uh, Steve, you're here. Delia. Ross. Yeah. Okay. All right. Ross and Josh. Joshua or Josh? What do you go by? Josh. You go by. Can I ask why we're being recorded? Uh, this is a thing. <laughs> Make sure it doesn't happen. <laughs> yes. Okay. Ross. Zach. Mark. Johnson. Mark Johnson. Charles, Charles, join our circle, please. Everybody be gentle with Charles. He was in a car accident. The circle can take it. You know, the circle is elastic. The circle is all encompassing and, uh, and it's a loving circle. I might shock you. So, no Mark Johnson. Ryan Cantor. Alex, yes. No. Alex Mark? Yep. Clay Miller, yes. I know. Amy, yes. Charles, yes. Nigel, you're yep. here. Yes. Alright, so if, if you have a laptop open in class, there's no Facebook, right? right. I mean, I'm, I'm okay if you have a laptop open because you're blogging some shit about class. That's great stuff about class. You're Twittering about how we could blog. <laughs> My teacher has a mustache. Yeah, 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 whenever you like. Oh, hold on a second. I need to fix this because I'm, um, I'm looking. Oh, man. <laughs> business <laughs> All right. Lonnie, you're here. Yes. Nate Jones? Here. That's you, Nate. Nate Jones. Hi. Uh, just two Nathaniels. Uh, Ryan Talbot. Zach, yes, I know. Del Spino's not here. Uh, Nate Tellers. Very wild. What? Are you a cat, you guys? I'm Nate Tellers. 
I'm Nathan. All right. <laughs> now, I was expecting him to be here all the time. Usually. I'm Nathan Tellers. That's great. Uh, all right, so listen, um, I know that what I said was silence, um, was, uh, first of all, our friend Charles was in a car wreck this week. He got rear-ended, and his car was completely just squashed. So, really, nothing happened. He feels weird. Well, he's sore enough so that when I chopped him on the arms, it gave me a lot of grief. Um, Sure. No, Should this is, we we're, a we're, a, we're, a, we're a family. We're a we're a family. We're we're sister Delia. <laughs> she doesn't speak. Jeez. All right. So, uh, did anybody not get me their WordPress link or uh, Twitter feed? No. Everybody I didn't get WordPress. You didn't. Why not? Failed to do so. Right. I get it. Why don't you do it now? Okay. Since you have a laptop in class. Uh, WordPress.com, not .org. Some people made that mistake. Going to WordPress.org, where you get software to run blog as a as a webmaster. Um, okay, so I had trouble with uh, this. Oh, who is this? Papa Diddy Pop. Who's that? Papa Diddy Pop. I think that's Nate Tellers. <laughs> <laughs> I hope it is. Uh, okay, Delia. I had a problem with. She knows that. <coughs> And Wes, you didn't you didn't update. I'll do it after. Time. You're gonna do it after? Yeah. Want me to do it for you? I'll block them. Sure. Uh, yeah. So if you do that, I should be able to then draw the feed in. Because what I'm doing is I'm taking all of your blogs in a, in a feed reader, so that I can see everything in one place. Um, and uh, did anybody look into Google Reader? Yeah. Yeah. I just yeah. Shut my side out. Oh, good. Yeah. <laughs> That's great. And then I noticed a lot of you um, aren't following anybody on Twitter. Um, you know when you sign up. Just got what? I said I literally just got mine. Well, I know. You also, also if anybody's protecting their tweets, I had to request you to allow me to um, to follow you. Um, you you protect your tweets. Why? Um, because I tweet often about my workplace, and my dad just tries to um, try to keep my tweets in there. All right. Well. <laughs> All right, I would discourage you from protecting your tweets because that's the, that, that sort of violates the principle of Twitter, which is you know easy and easy out, you know easy blogging, you know microblogging is great because you can just dash something off. It's like a little window into what's going on. I want you to get in the habit of, of, of tweeting, <coughs> of tweeting because I think it'll develop in you the habit to blog ultimately. I think that what you um, that uh, if you can tweet regularly. And, and, and I'm following all of you, by the way. So, and, and for those of you who are protecting your tweets, please approve me. Um, you too. Mm -hmm. okay. If you don't have a good reason for protecting your tweets, don't, because nobody can find you. Um, but anyway, um, I think that tweeting uh, on a regular basis, like kind of forcing yourself, even if it means some people I know keep a little notebook in their back pocket when they think of stuff that they might tweet. Later, they just like a little note and they put it in their pocket. I know that seems really reprehensible, but um, but the thing is, you can't just like puke ten tweets <coughs> in a row and, and be anybody's friend. So, <laughs> so sometimes you have to just kind of wait, and you don't want to forget something that was decent because it's sometimes hard to figure out what the hell to tweet. You know, like what it's a fine line between you know terribly boring and very personal or. Uh, uh, anyway, this point that I was making earlier was that um, it's 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 very difficult to be demonized by people when they have a sense of who you are as a human being. Um, you know, companies can be demonized, entities can be demonized, you know, uh, operations can be demonized, but but human beings are sympathetic. It's easier to sympathize with a human being, and and you can even be demonized as an ambitious musician or an ambitious music enterprise, like trying to score your share of the pie. You need to build sympathy. First and foremost, you need to build sympathy. And the only way to build sympathy is to be a human being. So one of the examples I wanted to talk to you about was like, I noticed, I started following um, Zappos CEO the other day, just because um, my wife's been put on the suggested user list at Twitter, 
and uh, it meant that we got a bizarre number of followers in a bizarrely short amount of time. But I was poking through it to see who else was in the SUL. Because some people are, do you know what the SUL is? Okay, when you sign up, it says find people or, or some, you know, find people to follow. They give you a suggested users list, people who they suggest to you you might be interested in following. And it's just a list of people, uh, identities, and their little checkbox next to them. And you can select as many as you want, and then hit follow, and it'll automatically follow those people for you. So it's everybody from like you know, the White House to the CEO of Zappos. To, it, what they do is the, Twitter picks use cases that are good instances of Twitter being used effectively. Um, and uh, unlikely people are on there. Like, uh, does anybody know the cellist Zoe Keating? I would say follow her. It's her ID is Zoe Cello, Z Z O E Cello. Um, is it all one word? Or? Yeah. Okay. She has like a million point three followers because she's been on the SUL since like day one. Um, she's a classical cellist who works like a pop musician. She like she just and she's up to date with issues and technology and, and, and music marketing. She she's like a, a very business like but human microblogger. Let's say let's let's refer to Twitter as microblogging. Right? It's a teeny little blog posts. Um, and like yesterday, she had this very public discussion with her followers about. <clears throat> um, digital music distributors. She was, uh, had been distributing all her stuff digitally through CD Baby. Anybody here? And the issue with CD Baby is that they take their cut. They take their piece of everything that you sell digitally. And that goes on for them. There's no, you don't recoup it and then it's free. And so she, uh, you know, as a fairly savvy business person, was saying, is there a better answer Oh, is TuneCore a better answer? Everybody was like, yeah, 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 TuneCore's a better answer. So she went to TuneCore, and they told her that they don't do classical. So she's like, well, what, she's having this conversation in public. She's saying, well, what metadata in my work is different than metadata for a rock band? Like, why can't you sell my stuff? And TuneCore was really, really slow on the uptake. They didn't respond. And somebody from Reverb Nation steps in and says, oh, hey, uh, we do all kinds of music. We have, uh, we cost about the same thing, maybe a little less than TuneCore. And uh, it's a one-time thing, and we do everything TuneCore does. And here we are, we'd love to have you. And there she is with her 1.3 million followers having this conversation in public. Which is like, that is poor, piss poor marketing for TuneCore. And phenomenal marketing for Reverb Nation. Absolutely great marketing. Uh, I'm not. What are you doing? I'm on Twitter. Ah. <laughs> All right, I'll buy that. <laughs> well, All right, great. great. I'm going to look. Let's enter, since we're in a circle, let's enter, enter into a bond of trust, an agreement that we won't Facebook and text message our friends while we're in this safe space. Okay? It's a safe place for all of us. All right? And it's, it's just for Marcus's room. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so anyway, all right, I'm not, then I'm not going to try to bust anybody. I'm going to trust that that's what we're going to do. Why can't you be on Facebook? I feel like they must have it just easy with them on Twitter. Yeah, but there's a lot of. Yeah. <laughs> but what you said? Okay. You can also stalk <laughs> women. I don't know why she said that. <laughs> no, I mean, there's other things you can do on Facebook. Yes. That, that's hard to do on Twitter. Get I have a question about Twitter. Like Twitter, like Twitter basically yeah. is a Facebook wall post on crack. Like there's no difference really, right? Because it's just like post something, get a response. It's not like a, a content. You can get responses. You're, you're limited in terms of character, character count, right? Yeah, that's what it is. So what it does is it forces you to sort of distill things down to under 140 characters. It's, there's an art to it that I think is underappreciated. But, but a lot of people, like when they're lazy about that, where they don't want to be constrained, they s post sequential tweets. Right? You want to say something that's longer than 140 characters, you can say some piece of it, and then in parentheses, which I think is quite considerate, I just saw somebody do this, you put one of three, like one slash three. 
And then the next one is two of three. The next one is three of three. So that people know they've seen the whole message. It's just really, it seems like for, to be successful on Twitter, you have to like be on it all the time, like five or six times a day. And I feel like I just personally don't have a significant... Well, there's no thing. being on it, necessarily. I mean, first of all, you should be able to just tweet from your, from your phone. Just push something out. Like, what are you doing? But, you know, Twitter asks the question, right? What are you doing? Right? And it, as it turns out, the answer to what are you doing is makes a really compelling microblogging. And um, it's, it's not that I think that um, uh, you're going to instantly love it. It's that the muscles that it forces you to use become, I mean, first of all, they become stronger. But yeah, I've noticed when it comes to the game, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Save it for the French chicks. <laughs> but the um, <laughs> but the um, but the uh, the, 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 the habit of of, of no. externalizing your process is really bad. Like, I can only promise you. To some extent, you know, and I know Rainey will say this at some point in the, during the year. It's to some at some at some point, you're just going to have to trust us that we're telling you to do something that's worth your time. You're going to have to trust us that we're teaching you something. And that we're not just kind of strong arming you into something stupid. Because if I wanted to, I mean, this class could so easily just be really dry lectures about the the, the new modes and, and, and methods in, in marketing and PR. And it could just be us, like your your primary deliverable could just be the, the, the marketing plan. But I really want <clears throat> to be able to like um, hold your hands for this process, like really teach you like the new ways of doing the things you need to do. And, um, you know, I, I've said this a lot, I don't know if I said it in here, but you know, if MySpace is your band's first result when you Google Dirty Burp and River Show, you're doing something really wrong. You need to own traffic, you need to own the commerce, you need to own the conversation. And you don't own anything in MySpace. And if Facebook is your only presence, that blows because Google doesn't result in Facebook. Um, Facebook doesn't result in Google search results. You know? So what I'm trying to encourage in you is not only to you know the idea that you that you have to humanize yourselves and, and, and externalize your process and be um, be real people with real values and, and be able to convey those values to all the various. Uh, eyeballs and earballs that you'll be addressing over the course of your your, your enterprise, but um, but also to start to engage in best practices. So rather than MySpace, I would encourage you to Bandcamp, you know, or and or Reverb Nation. I'd, you know, I'd, I'd want to make sure that anybody who has a music enterprise that deals in you know music content, it deals with sonic videos. You know, you guys all, I mean, anybody who has a band, you know, you should have an account with Sonic Boots. You should have an account with Bandcamp. You should have an account with Reverb Nation. What is Reverb Nation? <coughs> I don't know that one. Reverb Nation is like another. Is another Bandcamp? Uh, what's, what's, the, what, what's the difference? It's Bandcamp with Reverb elements Reverb. of TuneCore. You know, I mean, it's, it, it's, a, it's, it's, a, it's a turnkey solution for sharing and exploiting and building audience. The other thing Reverb Nation does that's Badass, and, and it's it's um, it, it was news to me. Is um, it gives people the opportunity when they sign up to follow you or to be one of your one of your fans, it gives them the opportunity to um, it, to become uh, a street team person. For you. And you can assign them missions. You can say like in New Orleans we're going to play a show. I need this printable flyer to be printed out and handed out or posted any everywhere and anywhere. And the participation is sort of fractional, like a tiny, a, a very tiny fraction of, somebody just wrote a report uh, in this music, in this think tank that I was reading. They documented their experience at Reverb Nation with the street team. They had like 1,300 fans and 8% and, um, got active as a street team. But it made a huge difference. It resulted in this massive return um, in the uh, in the you know, to the endeavor. So it, 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 you know, there's some pretty robust. What incentive, stuff. what incentive do these 
The street trimmers can have no incentive. No, they can be. They, they can like. The in many, and that was part of the. That was part of this interesting article. And, and I'm going to recommend some blacks. Because if I were part of someone's street team, street team, I would expect you know, maybe a discounted ticket price or a, you know a free demo disc or a free Fine. You know, something in return. That's flexible. Like that's it. totally flexible. You can dictate those terms. But the most effective street team missions were executed with no premium, right. no compensation. The other ones weren't that effective. Um, like a comment on the discussion. Uh, so like you were talking on Twitter before about like what's the sort of like you feel about it level. Yeah. I don't know, anybody here like ever heard of the flaming tsunamis? No, okay. Well flaming flaming tsunamis are a band from my area and the Where's your area? Connecticut. Oh yeah, right. And uh, the old saxophone player is no longer the band. He is like a tweeting monster. There's like 50 tweets in like, you know, an hour. Wow. Yeah, it's kind of, it, it's kind gets, of a nuisance, actually. Yeah, that just kind of gets obnoxious. But, you know, like, he seems to be really inviting about, like, the, can I just interject yeah. for one second, like, oh, remember what you're going to say. Huh? This idea of like tweeting 50 times in an hour as being obnoxious, that might be his way of excluding anybody but the people who he wants to be talking to. Like, there, it's okay to say, this isn't for everybody. As a matter of fact, that's a pretty powerful marketing tool to say to say something either extreme or to be a certain way and be able to say, um, you know, this clearly is not for everybody. If you can't hang with this and the way I am, you're not mine. You're not one of mine. I want only, I only want to talk to the people who can hang. You know, and that's it's a, it's a, it's it's just something to have in the back of your head. So I'm not going to try to make a huge general generality out of it or generalization, but it's something to keep in the back of your head. Sorry. No, so. Okay. Uh, well, uh, so one of the things I noticed he doesn't still be like, oh, uh, me and my my friends and this band or whatever are going to go play kickball because he, he lives on Long Island. So like he's like we're going to go get play kickball over in this this town in Long Island. Yeah. Or, you know, we're at Denny's or whatever. Yeah. And he's like, come over. So it's it's. I think the incentive is that. Does he ever say how many people came over, turned out? Do people do. I mean, does he have uh, a lot of followers? I, I don't know. I'm only. I'm. I'm kind of acquainted with him because I've seen him a bunch, but I don't. I don't really. I, he I doesn't tweet know. about it. He doesn't go. Brad, we got 30 people for kickball, and you know. Uh, he. Yeah, I mean, he does. He does do something kind of like that's like you know, thanks everybody for coming out tonight. Okay. So I mean, like, you can do that when nobody shows up. So. Yeah. Do you follow him? Do I follow him? Yeah, I do. I follow. I follow him on Facebook, not on Twitter. Okay. But I think I think he hasn't connected. So. Are his Twitter posts synced with his Facebook? Yeah, a lot yeah. of times. That's that's why my wife she updates her Facebook status via Twitter because she. What happens is, you, you, and one of the reasons that I'm asking you guys to do this stuff, I'm asking you to do this semester, is that something will just, it, it, you know, not everything is for you, right? Mm -hmm. Something will resonate with you, and it'll be the thing you like. Like my um. Uh, you know, Kristen um, blogs, but she blogs um, not very frequently. She 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 posts essays. And she she does that not all that frequently, maybe once a month, because she she thinks long and hard about the, the piece she's about to write. So she's not crank out something a couple of paragraphs every day. Uh, and she posts a song every month, free for download. Um, so she's in the studio doing that all the time. For some reason, Twitter just like lit up for her. She was just like immediately like, oh, it's like passing notes in class. This is the best thing in the world. She like loved um, tweeting and took to it like immediately. No matter all, you know, there were all these things that I've recommended to her, like try this, try this, try this, it's cool, it could be good for this reason. Twitter, boom. And then the other funny thing was um, she photo blogs. She does a phone photo every day. From her, you know, from her cell phone, she has a blogger account where you can upload a photo mo no, via a mobile phone. Um, and the minute you load it, you know, you upload it, it's there. It just shows up on the internet on your blog. And that is one of the things that just like hit for her. And she has so many followers for that blog. But who could predict that? You know, who could predict what was going to be popular? Why? Why would the phone photo be popular? And, and why would it be easy for her to keep up with? For three years now, she's done a phone photo every day. Every single day, whether she's been on tour, sick, or whatever, she's uploaded a stupid picture every single day. 
And that has been enormously popular and has gotten her a ton of followers, I guess. Yeah. Brian. Right. Yeah, yeah, good. I just um, gotta make sure. I was, um, what, what it reminded me of was I remember when um, you two went on tour beginning of in the summer of last year, all of a sudden the Edge got a Twitter. Right. Didn't announce anything, didn't say anything. Yeah. But, um, and, and, and to this day, he does not say any words. All he does is just upload photos. And it's really cool because they upload a photo of Bono on the plane or he'll yeah. upload a thing at sound check or whatever. And, <laughs> and, but then like, I think like a week or so he had like 100,000, maybe a million followers. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. Just, just from these photos. That Word spreads insanely mm -hmm. fast. Yeah. I mean, it doesn't take much. So, uh, uh, all right, yeah. So, I fit, obviously, I do Facebook. The Twitter thing, like, I, I had it, and I only have one fan. I guess, uh, one follower. Right? Yeah. Follower, yeah. and that's great. And, um, Is it raining? Yeah. yeah. And I'm your other one. You have two. Two. Sure so, like, all when I update my Facebook status, can I just say the same thing for my Twitter? Which you is, can, but what what I what I think might help you is to is to is to have your Twitter um, account okay, feed your Facebook status. But like, I don't know what to say on Twitter. Can since like, the only two. Say the same thing. You can do it the other way, but you can. Um, um, I'm sorry. Why would you know what to say at Facebook but not at? Because on Facebook, I have like an audience. 150 friends on that. Well, good. You're saying it to those people on Facebook via Twitter. You can on Twitter. do the same thing. So you really but it doesn't matter. Like the thing is, what I'm going to say, first of all, with regard to Twitter, because I know we're still on the learning curve for Twitter, follow people. Follow people. Like, go to the SUL if you have to. Start following people. Start to see how people tweet. Um, if you have the option to do it now, do it now. Like, go, I don't mean go to the SUL, but like, just follow somebody. It's okay to do it now. No, I mean like you can do it. Do you have some good people on your list? How do you, yeah, yeah, like I have people I follow. So you can follow me first of all, which is um, B I O S I, right? B O C, my initials, B O C, right? So you can you can follow me, and I started following a few more people <coughs> because I just wanted you guys to see who I was following, and I I started following a few new people. But this guy, this, I think you should follow Woot. Just to know how enterprises talk to people and, and how they don't how they don't have to talk to people a certain way anymore, follow Woot and follow the guy from um, Zappos. The so Zappos CEO. So it's it's the um, the Woot. It just says Woot and then it's, it's like green with the green yeah. information mark. Yeah, okay. get that one right. Mm -hmm. um, I follow I follow Woot. You can see who I follow. I don't follow that many people. I don't think. Yes. Sorry. Is there a way? in like the feed that you see when you log onto your page to like get rid of some of it because I'm following a bunch of cool people who never tweet and there's this one guy who's like a mechanic yeah. who tweets like every 20 seconds. Yeah, yeah. It's like <coughs> random sequences of letters and numbers. Yeah, that's stupid. I mean, you should just unfollow that person. Yeah. Because there's no, there's no value there, right? Like what, it's just an interruption. There isn't a way of turning off some people without unfollowing them. Yeah. So. Okay. It would be a good invention. Yeah. You could invent a Twitter filter. So if somebody follows you, you're not following them. You don't have to. Like my wife doesn't do, she doesn't follow anybody because <clears throat> she doesn't want it. She's using Twitter in the most broken way. And Twitter loves it for some reason. Like they're cool with it. But she, you know, what you're supposed to do is follow and be followed. It's supposed to be this big network. And a lot of people have basically even numbers, you know. You're following 1,100 people, and you're followed by like a thousand people, and it's all because it's this one big happy family. It says everybody shares information, and it goes two ways, up and downstream, blah 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 blah, right? And I was surprised I started following more people than I usually follow, just because of y'all. And all of a sudden, I see these people reciprocate. They follow me, and it's kind of like well, you didn't have to do that. That's kind of goofy, but wasn't that good? You want people to follow? I guess. So what you say. Yes, but I mean, I kind of want it to be high value people. I want I want it to be people who actually want to hear from me. Does you know? Does you want to hear from me? No, so they don't follow me. But like, why does some like I don't know? I, I, I was I was surprised that I was being followed back by some people. But anyway. Yeah, like when you're following like ten people or twenty people, and they all update like four or five times a day. Yeah. Then how do you even? Or let's say you get to like a hundred people. You're following a hundred people. How do you even like see 
any particular one of those? Well, first know, of all, well, there are there are like there are software solutions that, that help you manage that stuff a lot easier. There's a, you know, tweet, you know. tweet deck. I mean, it can be. It, but but really, it's not that hard to keep up. It, yeah. You don't. You can also just dip into the stream when you feel like it. You don't have to. You know, that's what the weird thing about tweets is like they're ephemeral. They sort of come and go. They're relevant for the time that they're there, and they're less relevant later. Um, it's it's also just for the record, part of what people complain about with Twitter. It's like a blog you own, you own your content, and there's a history, and there and you can read the entire blog from start to finish if you choose to. Twitter, you, those the, the the spent tweets, the ones that aren't viewable anymore, they just go away, and you don't own them. They're not on your server. They're not. Under your, you know, under your ownership, you know, under your domain. So you, so you know, those, um, those, those tweets really are sort of ephemeral. They sort of evaporate. Yes. Was this all like at before a person's name? Like you're tweeting at someone, but I don't understand. That was a thing. That that was a um, that was a, a convention that was invented by Twitter users when it was brand new. The users did that. Twitter didn't do that. Twitter thought that what you would do is write somebody's ID in the post and that they'd be able to see whatever you wrote. But that be, it, the users started using at and the person's ID like, I'm talking at you, you know, I'm talking to you. So, um, and so Twitter incorporated it into what they do. That's, the, that's been the strange thing about Twitter. It's like it has been built by users. And that's why I'm saying, like, just start to get in the habit of using it. Start getting in the habit of reading it, and you'll see, like, it's been built by users, and so it, it functions in a very efficient way. It's, it's not very intuitive, though. That's my only it's, issue. There are little, little tricks. I, I read your, your, your stream, and it was like, you seem very natural in there. I don't know why. I just complain. I mean, that's pretty much my that's right. you can, I don't know what everyone does. It's just you yeah. can spend some time complaining, but like, there are better so ways on places to. <coughs> yeah, but, I mean, like, ask yourself, is that how you want to? Do you wanna... think F My Life is a valuable resource as well? <laughs> no, because no one can tell who you are. Yeah, so I know. Oh, I'm sorry, well, never mind. So I don't have a personal Twitter, I, I do, but I did Twitter for two years. And, um, but I was wondering how, like, how do I personalize it? So that it's not like what well, I, I do like. Yeah, well, it's this, important. This, this is, show tonight. This show tonight. This much money. This. Yeah, and, and that's boring, and people aren't going to. Well, get how it. do I how do I do that without you know? Sh uh, that's why I want you to follow. Mm -hmm. That's why I want you to follow Luke. Right. Start to see the way they talk about things. They talk about issues around the office, or issues that the person who's typing the tweet is dealing with. A funny observation, or something. Um, uh, it, what, it sounds it sounds so lame when you have to like articulate it, but but there's something very sort of intuitive about just being a person. Um, like I was shocked when I started following the, the Zappos CEO, right? I really thought <coughs> it was going to be informational tweets from a company that is very uh, a very strong customer service entity, right? They are seriously. I don't know. Does anybody use Zappos for anything? That's the shoe place. Sure. The shoe place. You can buy your shoes there, but you can buy. But first of all, I, I know that there's a marketing professor here in, in the business school who is insane about Ooh. Zappos. No, not that about insane. The the different. Yes. yes. Oh, uh, it's her Zappos Lawrence? thing. What? Uh, Kate Lawrence. Yes. They're so brilliant. They really bought the ad space really? in the bottom of the shoe bin like, at the airport. Yes. Well, that was genius. Genius. Right. Absolutely right. But. I gotta tell you, like they're dealing with them, dealing with Zappos as a customer is joy. Like I, you buy something, you buy something. They ship to you. Usually, they upgrade your shipping so it comes faster than you thought it was gonna come. You know how often you buy something and like they only put it in the box three days later, and you thought yeah. you bought three-day shipping. Zappos like often says no, and I'm not like a heavy user or anything, but. I use it to buy stuff like jeans for kids. They, they sell Levi's, and my kids like jeans. You know, they go through jeans, right? So I buy three pairs of blue jeans for boys. And they say, like, oh, we upgraded it to next day service. Why? 
that's like expensive, and I didn't ask for it. I was like willing to take ground shipping. For free? They just do it, yeah. Free of charge, update, the, they upgrade it. It arrives, I think they do what's efficient for them. So it, it arrives, and I've had things where like, I, I bought a pair of sneakers, and I didn't know if they were gonna fit. They were like, you know, Nikes instead of Adidas. And I try them on, and they're weird. First of all, uh, free returns. They pay the shipping on the returns. So it's free shipping both ways. And no bullshit, no questions asked about the return. Even if your shoes have been like lightly worn, like you, you didn't wear them on target, you know, they'll like, they'll just take them back. They take them back because all they care about is their customers being happy. There's this famous case that he does all the time where he'll like call their phone bank from a conference where he's talking about how important customer service is. He'll call their phone bank and say like, hey, um, I want to order a pizza. Could you order a pizza at my house for me? I'm like the customer service person does it. Like, just like, yeah, sure. I'll be happy to do whatever you want. You know, if you, like, you want me to order a pizza, I'll order you a pizza. Like they'll do anything. Um, they're they're they're. I could call that person and tell them to order me a pizza. Yeah. That's cool. I think we should try. Do it. But so right now, it's yeah. an experiment. Go ahead. Pizza's all filled. Well, we know it works. How do they serve it? I think it's just pizza at this point. <laughs> <laughs> you have to have the pizza. I'm still a dream. <laughs> but, yeah, yeah, you're really <laughs> <ready. laughs> Based on stomaching, pizza's not for eating. <laughs> the, bottom line is, the bottom line is, they just sold the company to Amazon, right? Which I was heartbroken yeah, about, yeah. even though Amazon's a good company. Yeah, blah, 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 whatever. I was like, oh, this is the end of Zappos. But uh, he's kept a very firm. Uh, hold on the company, and they've stayed themselves. I've used them <coughs> since, and they're really still them. And um, I started following him, and his tweets have been like tweets from like a kid. He's like hilarious. He's he's like uh, I'm at Amazon HQ, and uh, I got lost. And every door I try is like a, oh, I finally thought I found where I was going, and it was a janitor's closet. You know, like. It's just this very like uh, regular guy, like, well, you're in Amazon's headquarters and you don't know where the hell you're going, and you open a door and it's like, oh my god, I'm the guy who opened the janitor closet door. You know, it's like, it just wasn't what I expected from the guy, and now I love him even more than I loved him before. Um, well, so, my uh, question to you is, how do I personalize it without my boss and things like that? Uh, well, do they understand how Twitter works? Yeah. Why do they have a Twitter feed? Because that's what they need to. Okay. So, I mean, it might require a little education in your part, but what would make them angry? I mean, if I if you, you said know, I hate something my that, job, no, you know, I mean, what if I said or like, I don't know. yeah, I mean, that's the thing. I mean, you you have some, you know, it can be like, look, you know what? The most innocuous thing in the world is to make a comment on the weather, right? You could be like, you know, what the fuck, the Russians? Why is it seventy-seven degrees in January? You know, whatever. Uh, you don't like Russian people? <laughs> <laughs> it's the copies. I just respect Russian people. I respect their scientific ability. Um, so, uh, so, you know, I mean, you know what I'm saying, right? It's like, it's like it, there, is, there is innocuous and yet still human and somewhat interesting, somewhat conversational. All right, that reminds me of something. So, there's the book I'm not making you read, right? Uh, the Clue Train Manifesto. Anybody reads it, gets an extra 10 points in the course. You read it. Mm -hmm. You already read it. And you didn't like it because it's just so dated and it seems like, I read the boy, this internet thing. Well, it was like over and over and over and over and over again. Like, same I get it. Okay. So, so you read what? Is it really, 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 really good? Yeah, really well. How do you tell? I'll trust you. I'll ask you some questions about it. We'll talk about it. A clue Train Manifesto. I really do want you to read it. it I'm not going to make it required reading because it, I understood and and, um, and uh, heard everybody's issues with it last time around, and, and I just, you know, I had the same thoughts when I read it. So I thought I, I was being hypocritical if I made you read something that I wasn't really that into reading. But I have to say, it validated a lot of what I had done for years, and I and I understood the construct behind. It. Um, did you, did your class, or you read third as well as other books? No, um, we re, we read last last semester. We read Made to Stick, Tribes, oh. and the Clue Train Manifesto. Okay. And I'd like to get Made to Stick. Yeah, I want you to read Made to Stick. 
I mean, uh, what was the other one? Permission marking. And the new rules. Yeah. I got the new one. New rules. Okay. Uh, I got How about all the books? Oh, I have, I have an extra uh, made stick if anybody needs it. I will take your made the stick. How much? No, give it to me. Hi, Larry. <laughs> all right, so. Depends on who it sticks to. Um, made the stick is. Um, Mage Stick was popular when we read it last semester, and, and I enjoyed reading it when I read it, preparing for the course. So it's it's cool. Some some good some good rules in there. Some good things to keep in mind. It'll make you uh, it'll make you a smarter blogger and micro blogger. It'll make you kind of feel like oh, I understand a little bit blogger. better about how to speak to people. It'll make you a better macro blogger, frankly. But, uh, so uh, one thing about this uh, Twitter thing. How do we get people to follow us? By following them usually. Okay. So, um, but like, who? who because because there's a sort of us? geometric effect, you know. You follow somebody, and a lot of, and and, and you tweet. I mean, it's it's, a, it's sort of a there's a recipe, you know. Following people, not blindly, but following people that you actually want to read, mm -hmm. and at replying them, you know, um, you know. So, so so if they say something you agree with. You know, don't just say, you know, don't just tweet it right on. But you know, if you have something to contribute to the conversation, do it. But I'll finish my thought here with the, the Clue Train Manifesto, right? Um, their their main thesis, the, the the idea they were putting forward was markets are conversations. And we talked a little bit about this last week, maybe. And what they mean is markets aren't like uh, a loudspeaker from a corp from a corporation blasting messaging through a bullhorn at, at a sea of people. There's no more mass media. There's no more one-way um, messaging in, in, in marketing or corporate media. Your customers, or whatever we're going to call the people who you're hoping to make money from, are already talking to each other. And they expect to be able to talk to you. And if you're not part of the conversation, then they're having the conversation about you without you. And you allow that to happen at your own peril. The idea that <clears throat> what technology has done, right, this crazy internet, has, has enabled this two-way conversation two-way communication to occur. So that what they say is that the, the, the markets, the audience that we're addressing, um, it's more like an ancient marketplace where everybody gets together and tells each other stories and like and trades information and says, you know who shafted me? JetBlue. I can't believe JetBlue screwed me. Uh, really? Me too. That happened to me. And that the, the fact that the conversations are networked amplifies the effect of the conversation. So if a company does something stupid and bad, Two million people can know about it in no time. Now, Clue Train was directed to corporate people, like corporate leaders. The ideas in Clue Train are really valuable. The, 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 the fact that it was written as a business book for CEOs was kind of weird. So anyway, in a nutshell, it's like do away with brochure speak. Nobody buys your bullshit, so don't try to bullshit. Advertising is dead and totally ineffective. So don't, unless you're just selling some crappy commodity, some bottle of aspirin or something, don't, don't hit us with advertising because we won't believe you. We're going to ask somebody else. We're going to Google you and find out what you're really about. So <clears throat> acknowledging the fact that one-way messaging is dead and that, and, that, and that the alternatives to the audience are manifold, then what are you going to do? You're going to opt out of that? You're going to not be a part of it? No. The thing to do is to embrace what is already what is already here, and, and, and we all talk to each other. You, you must, you know, you're you're one of the, the Twitter holdouts, right? You you put you you exchange email or text messages with people frequently. And no, how do you? My friends get on me a lot for my life. Well, how do you communicate with the people? I, I, I've you? just like try. It's Not like, all in person. He just shows them your house <laughs> randomly. Yeah, like the other night, I had no idea that he was even by me. He just knocks on my door and was like, "Hey, what's up, man?" I was like, <laughs> All right, let's hang out again. Don't ever do that to me. I'm, I'm just like, I'm trying to learn. It's like, you, you, I wrote down the headline this thing like from your 
first lecture, like, why should I care? Yeah. Like, I don't care about the internet. I feel like, and I feel like I'm, I'm definitely making like this big calculable mistake in that using the internet because like, I'm old school and I would much rather invest five hours of my time just talking to people about my band, which will only allow me to plug into like 20 people where I can spend that five hours on the internet and talk to 2,000 people. Skillfully. But yeah. I just don't care and I don't enjoy being on the internet and I like Right, you're gonna and so that's why I want to figure out like how to just outsource it. It's like I just can't. I don't enjoy the. So you're even making you do it, Clay? I mean, it's. <laughs> no, I'm trying to get him to show me how to do it. Yeah, myself. it's more one of those because uh, like what I had an internship with Voodoo where basically like all I did for three days was wander around the like wander around the festival yeah. and then just tweet and Good. update the Facebook and just like, that was all on me. So like it's just kind of like. Did it become you know, second nature at some point? Yeah, it gets to the point where, where, like, where like you just it's real free flowing and you're just yeah. It, it, it I kind of want to make it so that everybody in here has to tweet ten times a day. No, no. I can't make you do it, that, but I do because no, what happened to you? What happened to you when you? I know you're having trouble. I don't like that. But you won't stop having trouble doing it once a day until you're forced to do it more. Until there's some pressure on you to like use that freaking part of your brain. Well, use that muscle. Like, at least it's just. With Twitter, it just kind of, it, it, I mean, this might be more specific to me, but like, it just kind of made me observe, because like, I didn't have like a quota, he wasn't like, basically all he said was, yeah. you know, don't make us look stupid and plug the sponsors every now and then, yeah. otherwise say whatever the hell you want. Yeah. So I did, and my, you know, yeah. you just, you start to observe, and then you start to, ju it just kind of becomes. God, that's great, that's exactly what I'm trying to say, like, if any of you are having a hard time with Twitter, just do that. Force yourself to do it more often. But what? Like what? Wait a second. First, wait, first. Wait, first, first, first that. And hey, you're going to say something negative. I'm not. So I'm not. not, I'm not, not I, I want to make. I want to make an argument to these guys for using Twitter. Okay. Yeah. But as a customer, as a person, I hate, hate having things shoved down my throat. Like every time I have to sit through like uh, AARP commercial on TV, I just yeah. like this. This isn't my base. And what I think one of the great things about Twitter is, is it's the, it's, it, people, people who want to hear about your product, or whatever you want to call or, it. Or, yeah, whatever, your, the thing, your message. Your message, they subscribe to it, so they're willingly doing it. And I noticed, Judy Berman Group Show, and I'm not, I'm, by no means. This is saying, a safe place. Yeah, safe that. place. Mm -hmm. By no means I'm saying what you're doing is wrong. Uh, like, but I, you know, sometimes I see you out in the quads, uh, handing out flies, which, it's not a bad way, but I think it's. No, it's absolutely a must, actually. So. Yeah, I mean, I mean, you, I mean, you just still do it, but I think it's also a lot more effective to uh, like your audience is coming to you. You don't like. I'll I'll be honest. Like probably most of the people out in the quad really don't give a crap about the next show. Uh, like, you know, not to be mean, but like, so like. If, if you were to get Twitter, it's easier for people to want to see your show. Like, like, oh, okay. So you're not, it's, 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 it's you're not, uh, you're not wasting your time on it. Like, you're not wasting your time talking to people who don't care. Right. It's a lot easier to talk to people. Flyers are just like here. Okay, okay, yes. First of all, okay, say the positive thing, and then also say the Mitch Hedberg thing, because I love Mitch. Mitch Hedberg thing, he said, Somebody gives, when somebody gives you a flyer, it's like saying, here, hey, you throw you this away. This <laughs> <laughs> I love that. <laughs> I should put it in my back pocket and remember later. Well, okay. Sorry, so you so got to say the not negative thing. It's not negative. I know, I can't well, wait. I was, well, it was kind of negative. What I was going to say is, it's not negative about Twitter, it's about negative about people. Yeah. When you're uh -huh. talking to someone about your spiel, you kind of forget that it's your spiel. And they're going, I'm kind of hungry, I want a cigarette. Oh, the sky is kind of funny color right now. You know, they're, like a lot of times they're not paying attention because you're not on their time. And when they're like on Twitter, they're there because they want to read. Okay, here's, here's what something I'm going to add to that. I'm going to build on that. The first book you have to read is Permission Marketing. Because what you believe in right now is interruption. You believe that it's better to walk up to somebody on the quad with your flyer and interrupt them. No, not at all. Well, well, I had this crucial. Oh, sorry. Okay. Well, you are. You're interrupting them. Okay. Aren't you? Well, no. I mean, not at all. I had this this realization that I was doing everything really good except the societal marketing concept, like production, so, product, 
selling, yeah, that's I think what you're talking about, and marketing and relationship marketing. But I don't know, like, I, but for me, it's just like I, I'm trying to find, like, I just want to enjoy doing this stuff because I feel like all these people are on the internet and they enjoy, and like I haven't had that tipping point of enthusiasm that's, yet. And like I know that I'll I, hit that, that's and, I'm at. and like I don't want to like force it, but I want to, okay. like, I, I want, otherwise I'll feel like I'm doing something phony. I'm right. talking to all these Twitter people. No, no, no. I want to like want to be there as much as they want to be there. Otherwise, I feel like I'm, in, I'm intruding kind of in the club. Why can't you simulate? Which well, I don't well, I, it's far be it for me to want to talk you into this. I mean, I, 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 you know, first of all, I, I just want you to engage in best practices. I want you to be conducting your enterprise efficiently. That's exactly why I need to get on the internet. Right. Yeah. So, and, and it, you know, like, the, the things that you like doing best are the most inefficient things, number one. Number two, they are interruptions, whether, you, whether you're interrupting people in a very polite way or, or a rude way. You're still interrupting them. So you're asking them for their attention when they hadn't, uh, it wasn't their idea to pay attention to that moment. But it is when you have them following you on Twitter. They pay attention when it's convenient and they can, and they can digest the information, number one. So, um, but what I will say is that um, I lost my train of thought. The issue was that you, you didn't want to be disingenuous. Yeah, I don't want to be so, so what if you were what if you were able to, and I'll just put it, you know, you don't have to answer the question, but what if you were able to simulate the same interactions you have when you're on the quad or when you are talking to somebody about your band? You have these one to one interactions. Why can't you simulate those and amplify them through technology? Like with the because you you have a meaningful interaction with somebody. You're a compelling guy <coughs> to talk to about your band, right? You have this meaningful interaction, but well, what if you had that meaningful interaction and amplified it with technology? I mean, that's what, that's what that's what good tech does. Like, or or like, not, they, there's well, you are there. You have to. There's some stuff that you probably have thoughts about your band that you couldn't just say to someone, like as you're giving them the flyer, you're like, I really think we're an important force in indie rock scene. And you can't say that to someone without sounding like that. Yeah. Well, you also can't it. always voice doubt when you're with somebody, but. If you were, if you voiced doubt or conflict or some some yin to the yang, or or you become an interesting story. I think you guys are missing the point. It's like I'm not. It's not really like for You're me. The point. issue more is I want to learn how to like take the conversation I'm having with you because like most of the promotion I do is not like this intrusion stuff. It's like these long conversations I have with people. Good. Who are, like, very involved. And for me, it's not about like I don't know. Like I mean, yeah, I'm out there like you know, handing up flyers, which everyone has to do. But uh, for me, what I'm trying to learn how to do is like take all these conversations and move them to the internet without losing like the authenticity of being face to face. And I just don't feel like I'm like equipped to do that. Trust me when I say that if you if your tweets were your part in those conversations, they would have the same effect on Moss as they have when you're one to one. Well, I feel like people, I feel like very, very smart and touch people like you and George Howard are on Twitter, but I feel like there's like all these people that just don't, aren't on Twitter that I like, well, follow yeah, a lot of people. Would you just follow a lot of people? Because you're going to start to see that nobody, not everybody tweets like I do or like George does. Or, I mean, how many people are you following right now? Are you following anybody? I yourself? think like five or six. Yeah, like follow like, follow like, like, follow like, follow every follow time. like 20 people. From, from 50 people. 100 people. Who are you following? You, you get an like, email every time someone you follow tweets. No, you shouldn't. That would be, no. No, that would be so No, no, no. You should only, it should only live on. It should only live See, on. like, this is, that was like, like, when I asked earlier, how do you get people to follow you? They're like, oh, I have that. But, like, if I was in Dirty Burger Burger Show, how do I get people to go to my Twitter and add me? And especially, like, if I was advertising a show through Twitter, yeah. then the only people who would get that were people who already liked the band, probably. Well, yes, but that's it. You have to mobilize the people who are interested in you. That, you know, if you have a core, a, a base of fans, you have to mobilize those fans. I mean, look, it's the idea of the, like that thousand of the thousand people in your in your in your fan base, only you know eight percent will work for you or whatever. The fact is, like, it's really really hard to mobilize everybody. I don't know how many people are on your mailing list, but I would I would I would say that only a small fraction ever act when you give them a call to action, and and so this allows you to kind of increase those percentages quite a bit. We can take a break in a minute, but anyway, Zach, do you get uh, Maybe another thing about, uh, so I, 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 I like the fact that you're very set on 
on a human interaction, and that's, that's great. Right? There's nothing better than human interaction. I think that's what all people really want. Animal interaction. And what? Yeah. Anyway, so the, like, I mean, maybe, maybe what you could do is yeah, use Twitter to facilitate that human interaction. So saying, okay, tomorrow I'm going to be out in the quads giving out Jerry Bird and River stickers. And uh, so, and then, you know, maybe you're on a table or whatever and you're giving out stickers. So people are, uh, it starts a conversation, it keeps it simple. I mean, because, I mean, if, if, if there's like, if there's one thing that's, I really don't like, you know, when I'm in Air Force is when people like ask me all these questions and then they don't, because you know they don't really care. Well, no. yeah, I mean, that's, you're talking about interruption versus versus permission again. I, I really have to say, like, read that book first, please, 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 please read permission <coughs> marketing first. Get it and read it. It's an easy read. It's really fast. If you don't want to read it, get the audio book. I don't care. If you, if you'd have to listen to Seth talk, and he's kind of hard to listen to. He's got got this very sort of dry New York. <laughs> <laughs> they don't have a Sean Connery version yet. Oh, no. Um, That's even harder to listen to. Have you heard Christopher Walken read Lady Gaga's poker face? No, but the Simpsons, the Simpsons doing, was doing Christopher Walken reading the children's book? I said to Scooch. I said to Scooch, don't make me talk. Don't make me ask again about the scooching. <laughs> you really, you really also, Charles Intestines spewing out a stream of profanity in front of a coach. Was he like reading some sort of lyrics? He was like, <laughs> like die, fucking pig, die. Like, it was Charles Intestines. Oh, yeah, he was wow. quoting, uh, I can't remember who, but that was like, it was, it was part of the big like PMRC push oh, that's back great. in the day. Really? And it's turned off and shit because of like Ice T and NWA and all this. Oh. Cows and you know what's so funny? Ice T and 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 Kyle Killer and now he's on Law and Order SVO. Who, who's that? Ice T. Ice T. Yeah, you know, he was my he was That's my hilarious. client for a long time. Oh, uh, now that he's on yeah. the show. Yeah. Yeah. He's one of your clients. clients. Yes. Yeah. First of all, let 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 the real conversation happen. So what you're, you're saying, like he, the Twitter. So what I get is like the Twitter style conversation should be like simple, like very simple mm -hmm. things, right? Like MySpace. Uh, uh, Doesn't Facebook, have to no, be. Five, Facebook should be kind of like medium, and like a blog should be more in depth. Uh, well, okay, like. It seems to me you want to be genuine, which is great. So, if you don't feel like updating Twitter every hour or so, uh, just say this is what we're doing today, and you know maybe give a little bribe with stickers or whatever, or you're going to be in the quad handing out flyers. I think it's too promotional. I think it's too promotional. I think you should say things like, you know, I mean, I think for the, for a little while, just tweet like, "Ow, this is so boring." Or, or you know, uh, or. Um, but that's the or, minute or, or, I start talking about lies. I can't. Wait, I can't see I wait, start seeing them. No, <laughs> like, I ate the bacon today. I was like, I, know, I don't care. Well, <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's stupid. But you need to see it within the, the big picture. The big picture of what else. What if it's like your idol and they're like, I ate bacon, and you're like, yeah. I don't care. You're I'm not, yeah. I, that's one thing that that's another issue in society. It's a weird. Oh, um, there is something that's not cool. But I mean, like for your Twitter, I see you saying just like we're working on a new song. If you had like 20 yeah. fans and people. Talk about yeah, like I mean, that's you. You want to give people a, a peek, like, hey, a peek behind the screen, screen, right? You want to give them the keyhole view. That's a great. That's a great I like that. Like you want people to see through the keyhole, like what Dirty Bourbon River Show is doing, what Noah's thinking about, what Noah's doing. Like it's it, it's worth something. You must have thoughts that are worth sharing with people. You you have to. Sorry, all right. There's a lot of right. right. About like giving you people, the, giving people the inside view. I mean, there's, there's there's all kinds of things you can do. Like, let's say you're in the studio and you're working on something, you can like tweet a picture of the rest of the band. And there's this uh, website, twitpic.com, where yeah, you yeah. can send in photos and stuff like that. Or you, you can, can tweet um, only photos. Mm -hmm. I was thinking of doing that with like a video blog. Yeah. Yeah. Like, or some people, or, or, or some people, like I, 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 I've I've seen like lead singers of bands like that just just sort of turn around and take a picture of themselves with the crowd and then yeah, yeah. send that to Twitter, you know, just or tweet pictures of the crowd or other people. Yeah. So I, I, I see a lot. I do I am on the internet sometimes and I've noticed like you do a lot of stuff. Like you tweet, you're always you got posts on Facebook and stuff like that. For you it's like you want a lot, right, from someone like a band you like. Yeah. Like you I, want if, if I want if I like a band, yeah. If they can give me like 
anything they got. In like, one, right? right? Yeah, like um, is that like most of you guys you want the stuff on the internet? It's like it's you're so so, right? Yeah. It's just it interesting. Sometimes, yeah. yeah, that's the thing is like the filters is like I want half of it. I don't want all of it. Well I thought what what I thought was interesting was there was a um REM were recording in uh, New, New Orleans yeah. about a month or so ago, and uh, Michael Stipe uploaded these videos, which was, half of it was just like him walking down a hall, and then he just like turned the camera a second just to show it yeah. him, but then he'd keep walking out the hall to open the door, and then all of a sudden he'd, he'd show the rest of the band jamming for like 10 seconds. Right. But it made, the good thing about that is it's, it, was, it was long enough to, to show you what was going on, but it was short enough to make you want. More. More. Yeah. yeah. And the thing is, it's also it's that peek behind the screen, right? So you're, you're looking behind the curtain a little bit, and you're just, just again, that, that's humanizing the process. That's, that's giving people what they could never have had in a million years before. So like, th this is how I see it as a metaphor. Like, I will give you a, a piece of my, my delicious cake on the internet, and then you come and taste the big cake with me in person, yeah. right? Yeah, because you're going to make them give it to you. <laughs> well, they're going to make you. You're going to make them the cupcake. Okay. Uh, I like the cake metaphor, all right, Sarah. Okay. Oh, wait, Charles. He, I've been ignoring him nonstop. Oh, okay. <laughs> Sorry. He's, he keeps looking at me and going, can I answer now? Can I answer now? <laughs> can I answer now? And I keep going, yeah, sure. Just speak up. You'll, what are you? Fading flower? Go ahead. You're having a car accident. Yeah. What is it you want to say? Um, I think that a lot of you um, are missing, not necessarily missing it, but like being slightly unrealistic with like, Twitter and even the internet to a certain degree, I feel like I understand you're concerned about being personal and about um, having that day-to-day that -day interaction. But like, I think that we're not addressing what is like more um, relevant to like to the students in this room. Cause like everybody in here doesn't necessarily have following, and so like I understand like his question about well, how do I get followers? Okay. Yeah. And so it's like, for and for me, like what I find to be my biggest problem is is identity because mm -hmm. like people associate me with like activism and like my fraternity and like because that's what I pride myself on and then, like I have this whole different music side where it's like well yeah like, I don't know what Charles is on right now you know what that's, I mean? that's okay you and can so, mix it up and I think you become a, a little bit more interesting right and, and I've been trying to do that but then it's like how do you get people to see you the way you want to be seen and I think that's like that's my biggest question I think that's why I hear you saying uh, well you're starting yeah, so. to, you're starting to seem a little bit like a company who wants to Role, you know, no, no, manage control. No, not necessarily because I don't. I don't necessarily. I just want to be seen, right? Because I, I mean, I feel like if you're, there's no such thing as bad press. Right? The curse of the artist is anonymity, not piracy. But I'm not trying. That's to just saying. Your follow on Twitter will be like, my dad is in fraternity, I'm not gonna follow anymore. No, no, no. What I'm saying is that if people associate. Like I associate Noah with like just doing spontaneous, cool, like wonderful stuff. And he became like he became on Facebook and was just like on Twitter and just like trying to feed me like this promotional come to my show, come to my show. It's like yeah, that's right, that would like, cost him. Who is Noah? Like it's not gonna like I want Noah to take a picture of a Trump and, and Yes, I, that would cost him. So phone. you have to know who you are. You're right. It's identity. <laughs> in that case like, it is identity. Right. And so I just feel like what's the most pertinent issue on my people don't necessarily like the internet or associate their music with it is because of the lack of identity. So like, I, my question is like, how do you form that to not be, to give you that, that, that peek through the keyhole, yeah, but yeah, also yeah. like be you? Cause like for me, I like talking about my boss. Like my boss said the other day, I'm classy. I would never have sex in a vehicle, especially if it doesn't have tint. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, what? I have a tweet. First of all, I have a rule. When you work the right classy, you aren't. <laughs> That's my rule. You see and so I feel like somebody who, like, in my, like, my, I don't know, like, who, one of my fraternity brothers is like 50 right now. He's like, it's not the Charles that I know. Right. It's like, you know, at the end of the day, you can't please everybody. Right. But, exactly. You know what I mean? It's and you don't do it, you, you have to be self referential, not, not object referential. You know, you have to come from, from who you are and be who you are. And then, yeah, sometimes that is exclusive. It literally excludes people from time to time. Yes, you were, you had something. I agree with you that there could be TMI, you know, like, I don't care that this lead singer just had five cups of coffee, I don't care. Yeah. But what I like is when they get people involved in things and ask them questions and try to start the conversation, like, before my band broke up, um, we had a thing going where we would write two or three songs at a time, but not tell people, and then tell people, here's a list of the three songs we're planning on writing, vote for one. 
and people like loved it, and it was, you know, the. That's hilarious. Like I just noticed that Zoe Keating tweeted, uh, you know, uploading some final mixes to at count SF before my backup battery goes out. I'm like, oh, okay, cool, I get it. So, so if you care about Zoe Keating stuff, you're like, wow, she got some final mixes. She's doing something. That's cool. That's bad. <laughs> what? And her battery's dying. And her battery's dying. Oh, no. Which is drama. That inserts drama into the equation, Ryan. You have to. <coughs> yeah, well, um, I think one of the most powerful tools about Twitter is that they've taken, I don't know where the whole retweet thing came from, yeah. but um, the way Twitter's using that now is fantastic and so simple. All you have to do is just click on a button and it'll say retweet to your followers. That way if I say something like, uh, what, 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 you know, somebody else, some, somebody artist or whatever will say, song of the day would be um, a day in the life by the beat. I'm like, oh, this is great, so retweet. You know, to everybody that follows me, yeah, and sees it. But um, you as far as, like as you know, as, as 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 far as like getting followers and stuff. Well, first off, see 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 who you actually know. Like, see who your friends are on Twitter. That that's one start. And two, just what you like, because I guarantee you, like, if if, if I wanted to follow something like um, there's all these different bands or something like that, there may be somebody else who's a musician that starts following me, and I keep my circle to basically friends and people that are involved in music. Like, for example, like, if I may follow, like, some politician or somebody in music, like Glenn Beck or some of that, all of a sudden these, uh, in the, you know, um, political bloggers and stuff want to start following me. No, that's not, that's not what I'm into, but... Because cause, cause I know that's what I'm going for, is I'm going for people I know, friends, and people and people that like music. It doesn't even matter who it is, because um, I know that, you know, I, I have a connection with a certain, you know, Group of musicians or with certain right. music I like, and right. people may attach on to. If you made your song of the day, like for instance, if he if he tweeted, <coughs> song of the day is you know, track one from Dirty Bourbon River Show's new CD. I'm doing my Loyola track of the day. You'd retweet that to your followers and be like, look, somebody else is playing, is loving Dirty Bourbon River Show. All right, let's take a ten minute break, and I'll talk to you. Yeah. The drama was just out coming out of everyone's ears constantly. But that was when I was first yeah. starting out, so. Oh, okay. Do we have any more? Oh, yeah, we picked up. Um, <laughs> there we go, it's drama follows. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, like, I really do market, think. like, as a, I can see easily making a band very marketable, friendly, like, shit, that's my buddy, but, like, the killer tree sounds, like, yeah, let me give them a call because I don't need sound equipment. Like, no, 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 you, you don't, you don't. You, your market is just like a fraction of, of the population. Right? You, you don't need to, um, I guess what you I don't need everything to bands. result in a sale necessarily. Oh, yeah. I don't think it's for bands necessarily. Like, look at look at the people that you can follow on Twitter. And that's why I'm begging you to follow people. Because, because the examples are <clears throat> numerous of ways that, um, that microblogging can serve your enterprise. Yeah, the cynical view is you need to do the stuff that will get you more business or will, or will make people receptive to your offering. But the, the fact of the matter is that um, the Twitter thing will end up making people softer more receptive to anything you bring number one. Number two, they help them, they, they, you help them spread the word and the network for you. So that if somebody says, you know, do you have any idea who does sound in Cherry Hill for like a live thing I got to do? And people are like, oh yeah, I follow this guy. You know, that's, that's, that's it right there. That's the way the network works. <laughs> well, yeah, oh, it does. I mean, I, the other thing is people ask questions on Twitter all the time. Anybody have an idea of a sound company in South Jersey? Uh, it happens. Uh, and it happens more frequently when people don't hear that. You can also Google and find a sound company in North Jersey. Yeah, you can, but but the... Um, or you're looking for but a you're looking for connection? Dis you're looking for source. discriminators. You know, you're looking for differentiators, I should say. You're looking to see, like, what will differentiate you from every other sound company? Look, I, I looked up... Um, um, we're border collie people, my family and Border collies, you know, border collies. The dog, they're dogs. Oh, <laughs> border collies. Who last year border collie? No, yes. last year was a collie. Dog. Border collies are like 
Like the mom and dad and babe. Like in babe. Yeah. The mom and dad and babe were boarding on. They're crazy. How do you know? They're very intense. They're very intense dogs. Great Dangerous. Yeah, that was great. It beat my dog for four years, but, you know, and they died. Yeah. My last one like, like, was like, like, actually God damn, bad luck schlep Bronco. You want a dog What's the point? I'm really hungry. My blood sugar is very low. Get food. So I what? beg you guys to get food. To, have, can you bring I'm, something? I'm having dinner with people right now. He's after this. Oh. Well, I wish I had you. Um, <laughs> I had a girlfriend that was like that, too. She would get really pissy. My blood sugar is low. That's me. Like, oh. Use that excuse on me. <laughs> How do you argue that? Um, but anyway, <laughs> these are these are these are these are differentiators. I would just urge you to a follow a lot of people, follow people that just seem interesting. Go to the suggested user list, if nothing else. But <clears throat> uh, also, I would turn your Facebook thing around so that you're updating your Facebook status through Twitter, and you're going to see that that works. I agree. It's a one thing. Sometimes, like. I feel like there's that the at stuff in the language and the short and diminutive they version use it of Twitter. You don't have to. Not use everyone it. though. Like I feel like sometimes like like you just skip over the list. You don't have to look. Uh, um, I was going to use this example before. Kristen doesn't use at replies in her in her stream okay. at all. Her stream is completely clean because she hated the way it interrupted the flow. She liked Twitter for the passing notes thing for it seeming almost poetic, like almost random in terms of like idea, 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 idea. And so she said early on. There's no way I'm doing that at reply thing. I'm not going to interrupt the flow with all this, these fragments of thought to people that everyone else can't enjoy. I want everything I tweet to be able to be enjoyed by the general population that's following me. And um, it's, it's a totally broken way to use Twitter. It's not the way you're supposed to use it, but it works for her and, it, and it's what she wants to do. She, though, direct messages every single person who at replies her. If somebody writes something to her, at replies or something, she sends them a message as a DM instead of as an at reply. It kind of gets more meaningful to the person who's getting a response from her. They're like, oh, holy crap, I can't believe Kristen Hirsch is on Twitter. I didn't know. Like, this is so great. Hi, Kristen. You know, they'll do a little at reply thing, and they'll get a DM <coughs> from her. What's kind of cool about that, a direct message, it's like a, yeah. And you know, from what I understand, that is the primary way that younger teenagers are using Twitter. Like teenagers flock to Twitter in numbers that put you guys to shame, like younger people. Uh, and the way, they almost never public message. Okay. They almost always DM because they like everything private. They have DM. legitimate worries. About they have secrets. <laughs> well, yeah. no, no, danger. danger. Danger too, but they also <laughs> like secrets. Did like, you hear about that uh, like Twitter massive riot that was started by kids? No. Like, I think it was in New York or something, but it was like 200, 300 kids all tweeted, yeah. and they were like, let's go outside and fuck shit up, and there was like a riot of like <laughs> six, you never, nobody heard about it, it was all no. in the news. <laughs> it was like a bunch of like 16 and up, there just went out in the streets, uh, smashed like <laughs> warehouses yeah, and everything. Yeah. All because it's we do that. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, yeah. 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 do it, go. Can I just, oh, I, I just want to say something briefly. That, that is that a good. This summer, when we saw the uh, Ar Iranian protests, yep, big. I mean, that, there was a lot of that was a lot of uh, PR, uh, PR for Twitter, and I I kind of want to say that I don't really think Twitter was the driving force. I think it was the fact that I heard I heard them talking some of the news site talking about that it it was people communicating. I, mm -hmm. I, I, I and I I mean well, I, the, all other channels were shut down to them. You yeah. know, so these people had, had all other means of expression completely closed down. And Twitter, which is viral, which is like, um, it's, you know, it, it's, you can't squash Twitter. It's in a billion places at once, you know, and it was easier for people to just send text messages and tweet status updates, well, basically. Just, but just as like, just for the advocate, it wasn't, it, Twitter was what we could see, what we didn't, what we weren't seeing, or was people making phone calls. I mean, there. I mean, like, <coughs> there, there were other things. Yeah, but you can't people. call 1,200 people at one time. No, you can't. That's true. The spread of information was insanely rapid. One of Seth Godin's other ideas is the idea virus, like how ideas spread, right? And have you guys had to read Tipping Point in anything yet? Mm -hmm. So you know, same idea. How do things spread? Your music is an idea. 
how do you how do you spread that idea and how do you spread it efficiently? You know, that's one thing that the internet has in spades. I mean, you can't dispute the fact that the, the the spread of information is geometric. That it just goes and goes and goes and goes, and you can't control it. At some point. I mean, it, 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 that's what's cool about it. But you can't control it. You have to embrace that and, and make the best of it. So I think that. Yeah, while it's true, you can make a phone call as, a, as an Iranian student protesting. Who are you going to call? Not everybody can call NPR. Not everybody can call CBS News. Not everybody's going to get a call from CBS News. Or NPR. So these tweets were really valuable. And I have to say that news is dead. Twitter is making the new journalism. I mean, as, as, as scary as that may be to, to, to some people or to some of you, it's, it's, ju it's just true. It's the way information spreads most rapidly. Um, a good friend of ours committed suicide on um, Christmas Eve, and he died on Christmas Day. And he was um, a, an important songwriter, singer-songwriter. And um, my wife got a phone call about it, and she was devastated. And Twitter is now so second nature to her that she was saying heartbreaking things about this thing that's going on. He, he, overdosed and then stayed in a coma. They pulled life support and he died on Christmas, on Christmas Day. It was awful, absolutely awful. But she was the only person who knew about it. And all of a sudden, it spread. All of a sudden, the New York Times followed. I mean, she only had 6,000 followers at that time. It was like her little fan group. But the New York Times knew in 15 minutes because of that. And it's not only negative ideas that spread, it's not only gigantic ideas that spread, it's all ideas that spread. So you have to realize the, the true magnitude of this stuff. It's, it's so much bigger than the first circle that you're operating in. It's so much bigger than the first circle. And that, and that first circle feeds a second circle of people who aren't in your circle. Right? And that's pretty cool. It's when that second circle feeds a third circle, a more, a, 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 further outward circle, that's when crazy stuff happens. That's when the numbers become huge. It's when you know that you've touched a nerve. It's when you know that the idea that you're posing spreads. Then it's that. It's not the first circle to the second circle. It's that second circle to the third circle. That's when the spark happens. But, uh, I mean, just again, once again, playing devil's advocate, it's, I mean, you're right, the Twitter, Facebook is major, major source of getting views. But I think what the news does is it confirms it, it. I mean, you can say the sky is falling on Twitter. That doesn't necessarily mean it's true. You might be seeing, uh, I don't know, like airplane de debris yeah. from like, you know, toilet yeah. they have, because that's happened before. Right. Like that, that could be the sky is falling, you know? So right. like, it, it's, I, I mean, I feel like academic, like academically and officially, like news still has a place. Yes, yeah. I'm not saying that news is being replaced. There's a new news. Like news is uh, is once again at year one. News is going to start over. <coughs> and, and I mean, and I'm not. It's not me saying this as like the guy who knows a lot because I don't know that much about the news world. But I know that the news world is saying that this is year one. That they're starting over. They don't know what else to do. It's kind of like when people are in elementary school and the principal comes in and announces, everybody's going to have to wear uniforms from now on. And then everyone is dead silent. But the second they leave, you know, you hear everybody whispering and freaking out. And I think that there's the news, and then you can go on something like Twitter and hear all the whispering. Trending topics. Click on some trending topics. It's pretty amazing to follow the live feed on a trending topic. Uh, trending topics you'll see along the along the sidebar of your of your of your profile or your home your home screen Twitter you'll see um, it, let's see yeah like Haiti American Idol Shorty Award Justin Justin Bieber God I hate that kid uh, you know, <laughs> <laughs> awesome <laughs> uh, there's like oh, oh, the kid show the show. Oh, that really oh, oh, oh dude I was like yeah. 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 Wait, all right, all right, murmurs, done. Right. Usher. Sure.
he's yeah, I mean, like, like the, the trending the, the trending topics thing is very um, very very um, awesome tool because like say for example like um, I'm I'm tweeting something about um, the Beatles or something like that. It said like I just bought the new New Masters box set and I put number Beatles. You click on that and then you'll see everybody everybody that tweeted some of us Beatles and you can find something if they hashtag. Right. It's, it's, so it's, it's, that's called a hashtag, where it's like number sign and then and a word. Can, some of them are used humorously or ironically, and some are used as tools. Mm -hmm. So that you're saying like, yeah. I'm tweeting about the Beatles, you know, so hashtag Beatles, right? And then uh, you, if you click on those hashtags, those become trending topics, and you can see a live feed of anybody who hashtags their post or the subject. Now, this is a pretty crazy tweet I saw. I read yesterday. My friend in Portland, Oregon, said. Um, uh, oh, it was this crazy thing that happened to him. His wife was flying home from Boston through Long Beach, and uh, you know, so so Boston, Long Beach, Portland, Oregon. Right? And he said, "Nothing more nerve-wracking than losing the flight you're tracking, uh, than checking in on Twitter and seeing the arrival city of a trending topic." Uh. Which is what happened to him yesterday. I don't understand. Long that. Beach became a trending topic. He, he's going like, I'm trying to track Rachel's flight. Where the hell is she? She's flying from Boston to Long Beach and then Long Beach to Portland. Where the hell is she? And he goes on to Twitter and he sees Long Beach as a trending topic. So and a, lot of means a lot of people are talking about Long Beach. Like, what the fuck? Like, they did a plane crash in Long Beach. What's up? And it turned out there were tornadoes in Long Beach yeah, well, yeah. all day yesterday. Uh, so, oh, trend. Okay, okay. So, the, uh, so, yeah, these the topics. Like, look at Twitter now. I was just uh, just oh, yeah. beautiful. Yeah, okay. So anyway, whatever. The idea is that what happened was all the power went out in the airport. They closed the airport for people inside it. They said you can't come out. You know, you can't leave. You can't go. You can't come in. The whole thing was sealed off. There were birds trapped in the airport because it was windy. It was the weirdest thing. She said she was sitting in a black airport with just bird songs and walkie-talkie noise. I mean, like. Phony, I, you know. I like. I, I'd like to think, and I'm sure we all would, that every everything that exists on Twitter and everybody that we follow, if we follow a celebrity, a person we like, is real. But there's plenty. As I'm sure you all know, there's plenty of people who try to pass themselves off as the real thing. Yeah, or, or, or a people, friend or, of ours does verification mm -hmm. for Yeah, exactly. And that's what I love about it now is they got the little blue thing on the top which says blue check mark. Yeah, verify, which means this is this is really. Uh, Tina Fey, or that's really Tiger Woods or whatever. I tried to find Tina Fey, I couldn't find her anywhere. Yeah, yeah, she's there. Yeah, yeah. I'm just, well, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just, or, people, people start rumors. I mean, like, these talk, I don't know who it was, but, uh, I remember the day that Michael Jackson died, all of a sudden this gigantic rumor started on, um, Twitter that, like, Jeff Goldblum had died by falling off a cliff in New Zealand or something. Oh. But, they, but people believed yeah, it and they started retweeting it and stuff. So, I don't know. That's, apparently that was the same thing they used on Tom Cruise like two years ago. Oh. Yeah, we wish he was dead. <laughs> Who, Tom Cruise or Jeff Goldblum? No, no, no Tom Cruise. Tom Cruise. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah, okay. Yeah, like in sports, they, uh, no, like I follow hockey and I found out mm -hmm. she had players who got traded before the team announces it because yeah. players go on their Twitter and like, I'm going to yeah, Florida. Oh, really like, yeah. yeah. well, you know what's pretty funny? Oh, shit. These, these senators were flown to uh, Iraq last summer. And they're supposed to be like, nobody's supposed to know they're there, that they left Washington and they're And maybe they're yeah. tweeting, just arrived. <laughs> cool. Yeah. Yeah. They're like, what the fuck? You know, like, <laughs> crazy. Uh, back to the concept of zoos and rumors. And, uh, so I don't know, who we here over the current? It's current TV? Current TV. Target I'll women? Go. Huh? Sorry. No, no. What did you say? No. Target women. Uh, target, uh, that's a very funny uh, sketch. But, um, you just tweeted about Target women. Yeah, it's about uh, advertising. It's a clip show like The Soup, but it's only it's only female targeted advertising. Oh, that's it, great. It's hilarious. It's it's oh, my so God. Funny. That's awesome. Yeah. And do they tweet? The Target women? Uh, yeah. The woman who's in Sarah Haskins, uh, yeah. Target Women. It's on oh YouTube. Oh, my God. That's the woman great. includes the uh, anchor of it. Sarah Haskins, I oh, thought. That's great, great. Awesome. Current also has a bunch of different uh, type of t uh, Twitter accounts, but this, I mean, this is probably the best example I've seen of um, the, the, the uh, sites like Twitter and Facebook mer uh, merging with the news. I mean, yeah. I wouldn't call it a legitimate news site, maybe like CNN or NPR yeah, yeah, yeah. or BBC, but what they, what they do is 
I mean, they have like a lot of uh, amateur uh, videos, mm -hmm. uh, which are okay depending on what you watch. Um, but then they have this really good series called Vanguard, mm -hmm. which is like the last one I saw was about uh, what was going on with the Tuna Tigers in Sri Lanka, uh -huh. which uh, was really it, that, that that's a very good series. I, I suggest watching it. Unless like, you're a political conservative. Yeah. Yeah, uh -huh. it's definitely much more uh, liberal, liberal minded TV, but right. it, it, yeah. yeah, in a way, yeah. Yes. Uh, Progressives. So. <laughs> it's Tiger doing it in Sri Lanka now. Tiger Woods. Tiger Woods. <laughs> <laughs> Camel Tigers. Tiger Woods. Woods. Uh, uh, Jackson. Right, right. so but it's it's this, uh, like, yeah. Yeah. one of the things they'll do yeah. is uh, they'll show what they call oh, pods, which are like five minute documentaries yeah. on the topic. Uh -huh. They'll say, well, tell us what you think about it. Right. And sometimes they'll teach. <laughs> In the past, I've seen in future comments. It's PR uh, you know, they, oh, okay. and then the future like uh, what's popular on Google, and some and sometimes in which city. So maybe in St. Louis, uh, shoes are the popular trend. So right. it like they're capitalizing on that, and that's a really great. Like I, I, I think that's. I think you share I, it on that. Yeah, like you share this stuff. We gotta figure out a way to share stuff that we find. Uh, Maybe Twitter. maybe maybe you just share it with me. You know, tweet it and I'll and I'll. Let's make a Facebook group. We should all follow. <laughs> <us. laughs> you know what I'll do is I'll make a Twitter list of everybody in this class, and you guys can subscribe to who's on the list. Everybody can subscribe to each other. And the cool thing make, that make more sense. is they don't they, they don't have the the content is what like the series Vanguard is on Hulu, so you can watch it anytime you yeah, want. Right. Where I I don't think. Uh, like a I'm on the Amanpour report, you know, uh, Muslim. Yeah. The she did a Muslim uh, thing about Muslims around the world, right, right. Uh, and you know I I don't see that anywhere. I'd like to I'd like to watch it okay. on CNN.com if I could. I right. I don't know though. <clears throat> well, I think just to bring this back to marketing for a second, um, and promotion, the, the idea that you know you just mentioned the the, the pods that they that, that appear on Hulu. That aren't only on the proprietary site, or the Vanguard. Uh, the Vanguard, Vanguard is, yeah, is on Hulu, mm -hmm. and that's a selling point for you, right? I think that's great. Yeah, you, you love it because, and, and it doesn't cost you, uh, you know, it hasn't cost them you as a as a fan, right? It hasn't meant, you know, it, it hasn't meant that um, that they they've alienated you in any way, right? Mm -hmm. the, this is this is one of these big ideas that that we're going to need to get through everybody's heads. It's like um, openness is really big, you know. Uh, being um, non-proprietary is big, but only within reason. Like, you know, these are big ideas, the, the idea that, that you, you shouldn't try to control everything. Command and control is dead. That idea that you will tell people how they will behave with your media or with your, you, you can't put DRMs on your music anymore. You can't turn your customer or your audience into an adversary. No matter what you do, the person will always do what they want to do. Number one, number two, like this is an old um, Dale Carnegie idea. You, know, you go fishing, right? You don't fish with what you want on the hook. You don't put a strawberry on the hook because you like strawberries. You put a worm on the hook because the fish wants the worm. Right? You let your audience dictate what they want to a certain extent. Yes, you can steer that. You can influence that. You can participate in the discussion about what they want. And that will make you a better provider of, the, of content and ideas to your audience. But to a certain extent, <coughs> you have to understand that it's about them, it's not about you. So, so this, is, this is one of those one of those larger concepts. Um, right. well, what, wait, I don't know. It was a tie, Charles. <laughs> <laughs> you spoke in less. Um, I wanted to know, like, because one of my problems with the internet is that, like, any Joe Blow that can by iTunes or Pro Tools, thinks that he's a musician, or he or she's a musician. So like, how do you differentiate yourself from like the glob or like the glue that is like the internet? Right. Well, you there are filters. And people will know. You make crime? If you make crime, people will know. Like, you know like, you'll you, you, you will be separated from like. Well, right. Once they hear the crap, right. they're gonna be like, "This is crap." Yeah. You okay. don't have to worry about the, the oversaturation of it at all. That's Being heard does it. But that's not necessarily true because I feel like there's some people who make really shitty music but have really good internet efforts or yeah, internet no, practices. No, the shit always sinks to the bottom and cream always rises to the top. And now there's more, there, there's, there's less tolerance 
for shit. Yeah, because there's so much shit out there. Like, if you got chronic, people will know they smell chronic on the internet. They will know that it's good. And what's your name? You know the good, the good really? music. What's your name? I know. I know. I thought you just said so many people. This is like. <laughs> it's, it's made it better. Yeah. At first, it was it sucked, but now it's like I think I, mean, I personally feel like it's even out because of that. I don't know what you're doing. I think you should just do it, right? I mean, look, stop analyzing the situation and start cranking out material. Yeah, they just make if you just put, if you push out, things happen. Things can only happen if you push out. I'll tell you one thing. You know, the most important thing you can do is put on your goddamn shoes and go out and do the thing you have to do. If you don't, nothing happens. You already failed. You started with fail, right? right? Now, let something happen. You know, create a circumstance by which something good can happen. All right, so I want to hear, I just want to hear. I, I, not everybody has spoken in this conversation, and I just want, I just want to hear some thoughts. I want, this, is, this is like, this is therapy. You're not allowed to talk. You're not allowed. To, no, I want anybody. Who, I, I, this is like this is the person who didn't say anything the whole class. Guy. Say something. So Wesley. 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 Wesley, Wesley, you're you're Wesley. doing um. All right, fine. That's that's good. We're, we're, everybody will get their turn. Wesley, your uh, your your blog. <coughs> what are you going to be blogging about? I just want to talk about some uh, of this stuff. I, I want to hear what your approach is going to be. I was just going to be like more contemporary <coughs> folk music. Okay. Just talk about stuff I like. All right. Okay. Don't say just. That's reductive. Okay. Don't say just. Don't say I was going just going to. to. That's reductive. You made it small. Yeah, I want to hear someone. I, I will follow you. So I like that. Like, like, follow so everybody. Look, all, all of you are your. All of you should be your own network. Start following each other now. Start subscribing to everyone's each other's blogs. Really, it, don't bookmark everybody's blogs. Like, open Google Reader. Get everybody. To go to the blogs. I'll I'll share the URLs. I'll share the URLs. Something like that. Um, <clears throat> what about your Twitter feed? Is that going to be any issue? You're tweeting a little bit. I remember. Mm, a little bit. I mean, everyone. Do you update your Facebook status? Yes. Okay, good. Start doing that instead, please. Everybody, just start doing that instead. Feed Facebook through Twitter. It'll. How? Fair um, application. Just see. find the button. Yeah. It's like a serious thing. Find Facebook. It's an application on Twitter. You just gotta. It's such a You know what? Like, every you know like what? I would I would hazard a guess. I would say that there is a list of Twitter users in pirate language. No way. Seriously. <laughs> Dude, I love Dude, it. Totally. I love it. I just don't like. I sometimes have to switch it back to English if I'm like trying to do my settings because. Everything's in pirate. Everything. Haven't tried it. Try it. I did. Um, it's awesome. upside down. Or backwards. <laughs> and there's one that says English pirate. It makes me feel like I have a purpose for being. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So like, so like, start feeding. Start, start, start feeding your status updates. Because look, everybody seems comfortable with status updates. <laughs> and they're no different from tweets. You have no idea. Like this scallywag thinks it's easier, maybe. <laughs> is that, is I really don't want to do that on my phone. Is it important? It's awesome. Okay. Okay. So, then, so, then, so then find out how you can, you know, uh, swab the decks via Twitter or whatever. It's <laughs> basically someone like Walk the Twitter phone. Yeah, Twitter I learn things. I, sometimes I learn things like in this job. I posted I something two shots ago today. today. <laughs> like when I post something, it says, you posted this two shots a rum ago. Yeah. Like, <laughs> oh, I have that app where you do the shots and stuff. No, no, for time. Oh, that's for time. Or like, really? like four moons ago or 12 months <laughs> ago. All right. The, All right. The, oh, sorry. No, no. Uh, um, I would, um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say, I'm going to take a line and I'm going to say, uh, update, your, update your Facebook status through Twitter. And, and look, <laughs> if, you're, if you're too lazy to find the way of doing that, the, the, the magic combination of settings, then just do it manually. Who do you think has the most followers on Twitter? Oprah. Ashton Kutcher. Oprah Winfrey. Ashton Kutcher. Yeah, Ashton, Ashton Kutcher, Kutcher, like, yeah. Shaquille O'Neal. Between, between him and CNN, like, he knew, like, I've won a contest, like, this. I saw that Al Gore has two million followers. Stupid person. I know. Stupid person. 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 Google most followers on Twitter. Um, uh, so, I, this is, I, I know this all seems like it can be trivial, but it's be we, we will tie the ends together here. We'll, we'll, we'll make this matter. Um, I want to. What? No, I mean, like, Why is it number one? 
to pour that in. Uh, Ashton Kutcher, Britney Spears, Ellen DeGeneres, Brian yeah, Oprah. Oprah. Yeah. John Mayer. Oh, John Mayer. Oh, oh, it doesn't John say how many users. Howard John Mayer. Sea Crest with Real Shack. If you want to put a bullet in your head, you call it Shack. Oh my God. Does it doesn't say how many. Call me Yeah, they have a bullet. Let's see. That's better, actually. Ashton Kutcher has 4,402,000. What does he have to say that 4 million people? I know. There's an endless market for it. I'm skipping it. Ashton Kutcher. Found this. Really, really, really viable. You know, I've got uh, all right, so Alex, what's going on? You doing instrumental music blog? Yeah, yeah, for New Orleans instrumental bands, including my band. Okay, so everybody for you know uh, before next week's class, uh, I should see. You know, I asked you to start your blog this week, but I thought that meant you would um, uh, actually write a, a blog entry. Um, now I'm going to say definitely, positively have a blog entry by next class. <coughs> Um, no less than 300 words, please. 300? That's not a lot. 300 words? Three paragraphs. I'm still learning that. It's like, you did it. I'm not trying to tweet yet. Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah, that's like three hundred words. <laughs> 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 Bob is, you know, Bob's teaching it. You get it? Tell me the story about the video or the song of the JPEG. Really, what I want you to do is like, is, is, is write something substantial. Like, express a thought, like from start to finish. Sometimes I don't really have anything to say. Like, if I'm going to do my bad, no one sounds like. Do you know why I say 300 words? It's because you can say, I don't have anything to say about that. But you know what? That's not an option anymore. Find something to say. You, you will find something to say. Like, I'm gonna, and, and if you're having a problem, I swear to God, call me. Just write. Talk to me. I'll talk to you about it. I'll start asking you questions and start pulling it out of you. What's your cell phone number? 310 279 7588. And if you leave me a message, because I, I I'll probably have to turn my phone off. 3 in the morning, I'm going to call you. Well, it doesn't matter. You can call anytime because I turn my phone off when it can't, when it'll bother me. <laughs> oh, good. Okay. 310 279 7588. I gave it to you an intro last night. Yeah, it's Everybody got Kate Lawrence actually speaks for the band. She like tells all her classes. She gives them her cell phone and says, "Call me if you need a ride home from a bar." Oh, she must have an issue there. You know that Who's man. That? She must be like a man. Who did? Kate Lawrence, the physics teacher. She doesn't want anybody dying in a wreck. Maybe she loves you. What? She likes us. She doesn't want anybody driving drunk. Yeah, but like. Or, or be drew or doing something unsafe, like taking a ride from a stranger. Well, I mean, what's the line between that and like distributing condoms in class so and like calling people with their phone? Like, good for her. She's, she's worried, worried, man. She cares about you. She's very, she's a very. She um, like that. Huh? <laughs> You're on tape, just FYI. Oh, yeah. All right, so. <laughs> Negative. Uh, <laughs> they can't see me. Bottom line. Uh, bottom line. <clears throat> yeah, you can, you can call me. And, if, and, and, and it doesn't matter what hour, because if my phone can bother me, it's off. Um, but if you leave me a message, leave me your number. Leave me your message. Do you answer text messages? Yeah, I do. Do you fail students at the jail? I will. I have to. Oh. But you know what? I'm not sure I have to. Give <laughs> yeah. um, us um, something to blog about. <laughs> yeah. Don't you know what? <laughs> You know, I'm going to go to a Orleans Parish, Parish Prison. Parish prison. It's you speak from experience? No. It's I work with lawyers. I have. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's the greatest place in the world. Yeah, John John twice. Twice. <laughs> all right. You can sleep on hand sandwiches. All right. That's all they feed you. And the yeah, red, 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 red water. They give you red water and they force the buy cigarettes. And the size of big big guys. No, no, no. They're three different bubbles. They're three. And you guys have all spent time in drug <laughs> tank. <laughs> there is no drug tank. You're just in jail. You're just yeah, in jail. No, well, they, they call it the big drug tank. tank. They put all the crap yeah, in but if you don't get bailed out, you go upstairs. I'm shocked. Go. Shocked. Yeah. <laughs> I meant to. Well, well, you you get bailed out. So, oh, no, how does this? How does this one look? We gotta stop. I meant um, two hookers who tell me where they're going. All right. Hey. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm gonna do a banjo player from Florida. Oh right, right, right. I was really interested in that. So what are you? How are you gonna? How are you gonna find stuff to write about on a regular basis? Um, well, he's living here now, and okay. so maybe he hasn't started playing yet. Just maybe tell a story. Okay. Where he goes with it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If it goes anywhere. Who are you writing about? Cool. His name's Michael Raymond. You should call. Him. He's a 
without a banjo player. Uh, banjo? Yeah. That's cool. Well, I'll, I'll be interested in reading it. Um, you feel like you got something to talk about? Um, I think so. Until I find someone okay. that I have more to talk about. Right. You're allowed to change directions. If you find something you really want to talk about, you're enthusiastic about, change. I don't care. I just, I, I'd like you to find your enthusiasm by doing whatever they, you know, you have to start, you have to start somewhere. But if you find out that you have something you're really enthusiastic and passionate about, then great, do that. But, um, how's the Twitter thing going for you? I haven't done anything with it yet. I just made it, made the blog, so. All right. Um, um, you update Facebook status regularly? No. Okay. It's going to be hard. Yeah. Try to force yourself to do something. Like what I would, what I will encourage is, if you're having a hard time getting going on Twitter, yeah. give yourself a mark. Mm -hmm. Say five times today I'm going to tweet something. Yeah. Just give yourself a mark because there's no way to make yourself do it. Other than no way. There's nothing. There's nobody putting a gun to your head. You're not going to do it. If you, especially if it's uncomfortable, make yourselves do something that's uncomfortable. You, you just have to because it's you know look it's just. Not to be a dick about this, but it's like time to grow up. You just got to grow up and start to do the stuff you have to do. Some of it is, some of it you have to do. I hate to say it, but yeah, Twitter is, is one of those grown-up things now. It's just, you got to do it. It's ridiculous, yeah. Uh, just, uh, just a jumping off point for Twitter. Uh, uh, last night I was watching Octopine Hunger Force, and uh, I saw a funny episode where uh, they're trying to make shake alive again. And uh, oh, yeah. I, 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 the, one of the characters was like, die? chicken arise, arise, chicken. I don't know, has anybody seen that episode? Uh, yeah, 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 it was like so I, that's Johnny like, Boom yeah. Priest died or something. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I just put that on there. Like, that's, like, that's, good. that's a good discussion. Like the hand banana episode. The what? The hand banana episode. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. no. <laughs> it, it was the one where Shake <laughs> tries to kill himself to get into a, a video game so he can scare me one. Uh, it's uh, well, it's anyway, why this guy's here? Anyway, is this a big chicken? <laughs> yeah, uh, no, I know, I know. I was younger, of course. I have the DVDs, did they get, but like, what, what's? Did they find what a million views? I mean, tweet about I'm, I'm sorry. You're saying tweet about our team. I'm just saying, like, if you well, if you find something like funny or whatever, yeah, just talk about it. I mean, my, I, I, I got a like from one of my friends, and. I'm, a comment about it. I'm, I'm going to say it. it's externalizing your internal dialogue. Whatever's going on in your brain, you, you externalize it. And yes, use filters, use sensors to a certain extent, but don't overthink it. Like just get fluid. Get fluid writing. People don't write that much. People don't write for an audience. People don't write outside themselves. Just start to like, just start the flow. I mean, it's okay with me if your first blog is just about how much you hate blogging. Do three, do three hundred words about how much you hate it and why, you, but that you have to do it, and I, that'll get you going. And you'll start to talk about some real things. Look, I want you to talk about real things. I don't want everybody's blog or anybody's blog really to be three hundred words about how they hate blogging. But as an exercise, just start to puke words. Just start to puke words and just write whatever, write whatever, write whatever, write whatever, and then you'll find out. It's amazing what happens when you just start writing. Stuff comes out. It's like songwriting. Just start playing. So often you're writing a song, you can only, you know, you, you just start playing some chords, and then all of a sudden you find out, oh, damn, there's a song there. You know, so many of you have been in band. You know what it's like. You just got to start playing, and then stuff comes out. So start writing. <coughs> start doing it and, and, and make it happen. Look, I, I'm just going to, I was going to talk to everybody about what they wanted, or what they wanted to do their blog, um, their blogs on, but <clears throat> I don't really care. And I don't care if you keep... I don't care if you keep going with that subject, uh, most definitely, because I just want you to write about something you're really So happy you can just, like, <clears throat> go from topic to topic to topic? Or do you want yeah, to that's not ideal, theme? but that's not ideal. I would say well, like, I'm trying to... Well, I already have a theme where yeah. I already know. I mean, I'd like it if, if, you, if you follow a line, just some line. It, this, is, this is a very difficult thing to articulate, but... It doesn't matter. You don't have to stay on topic. You know, your blog can have a hundred topics. Right. You know, just be you talking about whatever the hell you talk about. Okay. So I said when when I started talking to you about creating a blog, I, I was thinking, well, create a blog on something. I, throw that restriction away if that makes you stop thinking. 
like just blog. Just you know, you know what blog what the word blog is, right? Web blog. It just it's a it's an online diary. It's a public, for the most part, online diary. So just start writing thoughtful pieces um, on a regular basis. And we'll start there. I'm reading everything you write. And it all comes up as soon as you publish it. I see it in my in my feed. So I'll start reading, I'll start knowing, and and, and I'll and we'll, and we'll start talking about the work you're doing. I'll comment on your blog if I visit your blog or if I or, you know, if I'm moved by something you say, I will comment. Yeah. And by the way, enable comments, but make them what? Private. No, no, don't make them private. Enable comments, but make them um, uh, secure. You know, uh, they have to uh, what's the uh, capture. You know, enable capture, so that a, a bot can't just put up a thing about buying gold. Mm -hmm. Being a good idea. You know, or um, so enable comments and enable trackbacks on your blog, because what that means is somebody can. Um, can link to your blog on their blog, and I know it sounds like it's in the far off distant future, but it, it matters. Enable trackbacks. It's a weird way that people find each other on the internet. This stuff. This is part of the reason that I want you to be doing this is so that you start to get your hands dirty under the hood in all in all these in all these things. And Bob Rainey, for those of you in his class, how many of you are in there? That's pretty good. It's pretty good. You guys are going to pick up more stuff in the next couple of. In the next couple of classes, like he's going to teach you a lot about about hacking posts and, and putting up multimedia content, um, how to tag your posts, how to create categories, um, all that stuff will matter. How to enable comments and trackbacks and all that stuff. So that's good. That's really good. And, and bring that in here. And and by the way, like please, when something you know when when a penny drops for for you guys, like and something makes sense all of a sudden. Bring it in here because it, it's it's strange, but you guys are like a in this weird nether world. You're, you know, your age group is sort of between people who use technology all the time and people who you know the old people who never really use technology. But like you know, there's people my age who, who use tech a lot, uh, and, there, and there's people younger than you who use tech a lot. But for some reason, you guys are in this really weird gray area. I think it's because. Your, your social groups are very definite, and like they exist second nature. They're here, they're all around you. You see everybody you see every day. It matters when you're a younger person, and, you know, a younger kid, and you can't see the person who you want to be social with every day. Or when you're a little older and you have a job and you can't see the person, you, you can't get around to see the people you need to see every day. So trust me when I say this will, and this will take on a much more advanced role in your lives later, and it's really important if you want to talk at all today, I mean, we're, we're going to wrap up kind of soon, next 10 minutes or so, but if you want to talk at all about the um, the final project in this class, which is the marketing plan? Marketing plan? No. No. Um, yeah. it's far away. It's not, we're going to start working on it in class for about six weeks left, and you guys are going to have to do, I mean, it's, it's hard. I was going to make you work in groups, and I'm open to you working in groups. Yeah. Uh, yes. Groups are a lot of hard yeah. 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 work. Yeah. 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 You know when you're flawed? Yeah, I didn't, um, I had bad, I had, I had good and bad experiences with groups last night. Think about the good, don't be negative. Okay. <laughs> We're a new group. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, uh, I, just saw, I just saw a lot of people get a grade that they didn't deserve because they were in a good group. Well, write them a comment. Make them feel like crap. I think we should. That's I think right. you should be able to make each person accountable for parts of um, the group as a whole, and not just I may, give, I not may just say, give them, not just give a whole grade for the group. It was a five-person group. I think you know maybe everybody's responsible for twenty points. Maybe that might work. Or, I'll think about you it. You know, I mean, or at least That's you know uh, hold the group accountable. Or at least hold the group accountable to. Uh, call someone out to you who hasn't done shit. Well, that's 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 an obligation. That's, that's an that's an ethical obligation. Yeah. What? I think that's trouble waiting to happen. I don't want to waste time to hear you there. Yeah. yeah. Well, well, not if everyone just does their part. It's only yeah. Yeah, We're in the not. music industry, so. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Meaning. Just we need to eat dinner. All right. Um. <laughs> so. 
So for next week, uh, I need a, a blog post of minimum 300 words, please. And uh, force yourselves to, to tweet. I'm following every one of you, and I'm subscribing to all your blogs. I'm going to try to. Oh, you're in me down. No, you don't have to, because you're Okay, well, uh, if I you, can. You know, how much, you know how much text messages cost? No, I won't be texting. No, free Wi-Fi only. It's everywhere. Yeah. 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 They have a big, like, um, yeah. white area with computing with Mac computers, a giant Mac lab. Awesome. And, um, yeah. And, yeah, and if you use your phone on a free Wi-Fi network, only on Wi-Fi. So only on Wi-Fi. Wi turn turn off Skype. the radio. Turn on the Wi-Fi. Okay. So if I got Skype and I'm in a yes. Wi-Fi hotspot, yes. uh, it'll be free. Yep. You know, if you're talking about on Skype, right. but if you're talking about right. a phone, it's, you charge up your Skype. You know what I would do is charge up your Skype account with 10, 15 bucks before you go. It's two cents a minute. Anywhere in the world on Skype. You can call phones. Oh, it's you can call your mom and dad on their phone. Skype isn't free on the, the app isn't free. It is going to other Skype accounts. Right, yeah. That's what I'm talking but if you want to call your mom on her phone, you can and it'll cost you a penny a minute. I'm just saying you can call But that's a good deal. Yeah. It's crazy. So yeah, anyway. Um, what else? Anybody any questions? Anything? Do you know anything about grant writing? Nope. Are you, yes, are you an ad arts admin? John Snyder knows a lot about grant writing. Though. Are you an arts admin? No, but I want to write grants. Do you want to uh, well, okay, know the lady who taught arts admin last semester is really flaky, but she might be able to help you if you find her. What's her name? Mary. Mary Shallot. <laughs> She'll help you write. She'll Mary's definitely help you write grants. Mary, come and teach you again or something? She already she is. She taught last semester. Oh, just a bit, but I just heard some correspondence between Yeah, all we did was get drunk. Yeah, literally. In, in her class? Yeah. yeah. Every class. I don't understand. Every, every time we did that like class like here like on like campus, yeah. open bar. No, not, yeah, like every week we would go like to a different You're not of all of age. How about location. You're all of age. She doesn't care. Um, no. Hey, we're on camera. Let's talk about Yeah, really. I think we just lost somebody. Serious job. Oh, This is being edited. I'm going to be editing it. Oh, you're the editor. Yeah. <laughs> oh, this uh, negative stuff. Uh, you, oh, this is this is yeah. 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 Once the Kate Lawrence <laughs> subject came up, you were like, yeah, 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 very editing. Yeah. 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 No, I didn't mean it's flaky. She's just really hard to get a hold of. Um, yeah. She drinks a lot. Well, yeah. She's a cool lady. She's a really cool lady. I didn't learn it. Every week we go to like the Big Top or the CAC or some other thing and hear someone talk, and there was always an open bar. Wow. Wow. Um, if anybody is um, is actually uh, marketing something and needs help, um, reach out to me for that too. Like if you guys are help. doing what? Well, yeah, so time and place. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, I'll be happy to help with anything. So and, and, and maybe we'll start to talk about your project early on. Do you know anything about well, like I actually have this blog I keep talking about uh, that I've been working on. I actually want to do something with it. How do, do you know, do you know anything about getting like certain advertisers interested in it? Yeah, you can basically sign up look the way you do for AdSense or anything. Uh, Google Ads, basically they place, they analyze your traffic and they, and they analyze your content and they place it. Um, yeah, we'll talk about it. We'll talk about it. Okay. It's, it's, it's dicey, you know. It's a, it, 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 if it's the kind of blog that can take a little bit of Generic advertising, you know, Google Ad, AdSense or whatever, then or or Ad, Google Ad placement. Google Ad. Maybe it's maybe it's it's fine, but it could, it could also sort of. Well, see, yeah, I mean, it could it could make it seem a little less. Like, I'm thinking a little you want a little specific, like you know, I'm gonna, go ahead. hard copies, the article summaries, or just on Blackboard. Um, on Blackboard is just fine. Thank you so much. And is that in the Dropbox, the discussion board, or what? Oh, you know what? That's what a great is, question. I'm, I'm, I'm really bad with Blackboard. I'm Same thing for no words classes. Every week, our yeah. summary. It's in the syllabus. I'm oh, sorry, did you not read the syllabus? Wait, what? Are you the only current person? Current event summary? Did anybody else do the current event summary? We well, have current events for this class. Yeah. Like a marketing, a community marketing. Yeah. Wait, when did you finish? It's in the syllabus. You, we didn't finish the syllabus. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, you're, you're obliged to read the syllabus. It's your contract. I had, I had asked you about that last time, and you basically said that 
you're not, you're not really concerned about Did it. Did I say that? Yeah, yeah you, 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 you said you want us to do the blog. Yeah, it's, it's funny because I was, I was, that was an internal uh, question. Uh, I'll be happy if you make it a blog question. I'll give you credit. Oh, for really? Cool. We do just focus on the blogs, like you said, right? Focus on blogs. It's really what matters. Uh, right. And you know what? I'll strike the um, the weekly current events summary. I, I'm taking hard uh, attendance. I'll give you credit for that. Okay. I don't want to waste time. Sorry, but, but I want you guys to do our security and I think for hours. You can if you like. I mean, you can give it to me too. Yeah. All right, we're good.